Hey guys, this is Ninja Knight 83, and last year on July 30th and 31st, I went to Phantom Fest in Louisville, Kentucky to meet the Godzilla actors. Uh, I met Haro Nakajima, Kimpacharo uh, Satsuma, Sutamo Kitagawa, and uh, Mizuho Yoshida, and also Shinji Nishikawa was there. He was a designer. Um, I, I met all those guys there. That's the first time anywhere, even in Japan or even outside of Japan, where all those actors have been together. So that was actually really, really cool. And Stan Lee was also there, as you can see. Um, this was the beginning of the day on Sunday, so that's why he did such a great signature. But the artwork there, I decided to buy a blank sketch cover, and I had Angel Medina, a fantastic artist, for $25 a piece. I first had him draw the lizard, because the lizard's my most favorite Spidey villain. Then... Uh, that was on Saturday, and then I came back on Sunday to pick it up, and I'm like, could you put Spider-Man on there? And he decided to have Spider-Man swinging in like he was about to get the lizard, and that was just really awesome what he did. And he's a fantastic artist. He, he's done a lot of Spider-Man. Uh, he did Sensational Spider-Man Volume 2. He did several issues of that. He's done a lot of issues of Spawn and... You definitely want to check out Angel's work. So, Angel Medina. Fantastic. And just a sharp signature uh, from Stan Lee there. On a sad note, on that Saturday, I had Stan Lee sign my Amazing Fantasy 15. And I decided to have send it to these guys that was sitting next to Stan Lee collecting comics for CGC. And... I decided I wanted to have it sent out just to get encapsulated and everything. I had no intentions of selling it, but unfortunately, they lost my Amazing Fantasy 15. I mean, the copy I had was probably no better than a fair slash good, but it was still an Amazing Fantasy 15, and they lost it. CGC says they never ever got it. I don't want to, you know, bash. I, you know them it, it's over with i insured it for what i insured it for they paid me out for it i don't know why cgc said it they said they never got it and there was a huge complication over that it's a lesson learned a really hard lesson being that it was an amazing fantasy 15 stan lee did such a great signature on it um, the guy I bought it off of actually dropped a marker on it, and Stan Lee was nice enough to take a fat Sharpie and autograph over the marker that the previous person that I purchased it from had dropped on it. He knew nothing about the book, and I got a great deal on it when I purchased it, and um, I slightly doubled my money with what I insured it for and they paid me out and it's all said and done I won't say who the people I gave the book to it's it's done with but I just figure I'll let you guys know that yeah I I, I screwed up so <laughs> but that's why I chose to come back the next day I was a little nervous so I'm like I better just get Stan Lee's autograph one more time it was a hundred bucks but I decided to have him autograph this awesome sketch. He charged me just another $25 to do Spider-Man, so that was awesome. 50 bucks to do an amazing job. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of move that off to the side and get to the Godzilla items here. Okay, here's a book by Shinji Nishikawa. Really, really awesome. Just Shinji Nishikawa, he co-created like a lot of the monsters from... 1989 Violante through even today so he's done a lot of Godzilla illustrations and co-creations of other monsters co-created Destroya and uh, other stuff like that but kind of well I guess I'll go, have to flip through it this way but uh, really just awesome his main creation he did was Shinji Nishikawa did create the Godzilla suit right there for Godzilla uh, 2000. That was his baby. So, 
And that's one of my most beloved suits was the Godzilla 2000 suit. He's just totally B.A. So that's really, really awesome that he was the sole creator of that suit. But he loved collaborating with other artists and stuff on... But a lot of these are just sketches that he did, like there was Biolante, uh, yeah, the Doe Rats, and there was Mecha King Ghidra, and uh, it was just so cool, all the stuff that he worked on through the Godzilla series. But I decided to uh, do something else pretty cool. Um, came with stickers, limited edition stickers that were only for this show. Which is, I guess is kind of neat, but little sticker decals there. But uh, let's see if I can find it here. I had Harold Nekajima sign the Godzilla 1954 sketch there. That I mean, that, that was already sketched. Uh, that's like, uh, I didn't have him sketch that in the book. That was already part of it. But then I had him write Gojira to the side, which was just awesome. A great man, very, very nice. All the actors were just nice, very kind. They took photos for free. Each one of them only charged $30 an autograph. That's nothing to compare to what I usually pay for celebrities. I paid 100 for Stan Lee, $80 for uh, um, Adam West, and so $30 was, was nothing. And these guys have brought me so much joy over the years. It's, it's crazy. They they were they made my childhood so much better. They they've made the world better with just their incredible suitmation acting that they've done. So oh let's see if I want to make sure I don't get out of the uh oh let's see I'm pretty sure just more awesome artwork here. But okay there is Kimpacharo uh, Satsuma Kimpacharo Satsuma sorry but butcher's name don't mean to my Japanese is not the best but. That's his autograph there from when he played God. He played Godzilla from um, shoot, what was it? Uh, yeah, nineteen eighty four to uh, Godzilla vs. Destroyer. Um, he also played the Smog Monster even way before that, and Gigan. So that's really cool. He he already had the experience playing a monster. So they're like, hey, we want you to come back and do Godzilla now because we're bringing him back for eighty four. So that was awesome. And let's see. Oh, okay, there's Sutamu or Tom Kitagawa's. He uh, played Godzilla uh, 2000 through uh, 2004, but in 2001, Mizuho Yoshida played uh, in GMK, so that's pretty cool. And oh, I need to kind of flip through this real quick. And Shinji Nishikawa, I had him draw Godzilla 1984 since that was my first Godzilla movie. And he was so excited to do that, too. So, what an amazing book. And to have it, what, all those autographs. Then, I also met Ultraman, Satoshi Ben Fura. Uh, he was also there. So, that was awesome to have him sign that. Then, I had um, Haro Nakajima play Gyrus in one of the Ultraman episodes. So, I had him, he signed Gyrus there, too. But, so, that was cool to get that dual autograph. Here was one of the figures I got, and I had Haro Nakajima sign that as well. This is a figure statue. Unfortunately, this company went out of business, which was a shame because they did do a King Ghidorah, uh, Ghidorah and it's kind of hard to find, but just really, really awesome statue. And let's see. Very, very cool. And my most awesome piece since I lost this Amazing Fancy 15 gone. This is my most prized possession now. It's my original lobby card from the first Godzilla movie signed by Haro Nakajima. I mean, I guess if you're going to have a Godzilla item signed by him, an original item from the very first movie would be <laughs> just awesome. Very, very cool. And good news, he's supposed to be coming up to Days of the Dead in Indy this year. And they said, and they said, you know, more might be coming too. And they winked uh, from people I talked to. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off and say peace.